What's going on Guardian CBL here back with your weekly vendor weapon roll recommendations. First things first, like three of the weapons this week will be found at the Future War Cult. They definitely brought their A game this time around. First up, we've got the Wounded Scout Rifle. This thing is super duper good. It's one of my favorite scouts in the game right now, and the roll we got this week is absolutely fantastic. It's already a really fun scout rifle with great base stability, but this roll comes with reflex to give it even more aim assist, and then it's got a great PvE set of perks in explosive rounds, snapshot, hammer forged, triple tap, and finally crowd control. This thing isn't generally capable of one-shotting shanks outside of crowd control, but this is just such a fun PvE setup between triple tap, explosive rounds, and uh, the ad management from crowd control itself that it's just too fun of a combination to really pass up. And of course, right next to it, we have yet another fantastic roll for the Wormwood Sidearm. Oh, will it ever end? No, no it will not. This bad boy is once again coming with a fantastic roll this week. It's got both the True Sight and the Sure Shot Iron Sights for both of the aim assist boosting sights there. And perk wise, it's coming with high caliber rounds, snapshot, fitted stock, cascade, and rangefinder, giving you tons of great options there. You can run high caliber rounds, fitted stock, rangefinder for extra range, extra stability, and the flinch factor, or you can even toss in cascade there for a little bit of wonkiness between dropping a couple shots on people and then finishing them with a melee to refresh your magazine. As most of you no doubt know by now, the Wormwood is a fantastic gun, and this is a great roll for it. And finally, we've got the Warpath, which is coming with a roll that's virtually identical to the one that was sold a few weeks ago, in that it's just a fantastic PvE roll. This thing is coming with Linear Compensator, which gives it a nice big boost to its velocity. It's also got Field Scout for the extra magazine ammo. Battle Runner for some extra agility shenanigans, and of course, Cluster Bombs for the big damage in PvE. This is virtually a perfect PvE rocket launcher. It's already got a blast radius that's high enough, so those extra bits of velocity that you're going to be getting in there are definitely worth it. Alright, moving on, taking a little break from the serious stuff. Oh, uh, I thought this would be an honorable mention for today's video. The Zero Day Dilemma at the Crucible Quartermaster is kind of spoopy. If you're a fan of high impact autos, this one might fill kind of a very specific niche. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. Now it doesn't come with any aim assist boosting sights, but it is coming with focus fire, eye of the storm, small bore, armor piercing rounds, and glass half full. Now of course the big ticket items here are focus fire, small bore, and glass half full. It turns this thing into a mini Soros regime. The mixture of extra damage and range from focus fire with the stability from small bore and the smaller magazine size giving you bonus damage faster, I don't know if it's going to be good, but it could be fun. And that's what it's all about, right? Anyways, moving on to the Vanguard Quartermaster this week, we've got a pretty darn good roll of the Parthian Shot. And just like some of the future War Cult weapons, I actually think it's a repeat of uh, a roll we got a week or two ago. Anyways, it's going to be a laser beam. This thing is rocking the reflex side for the bonus to aim assist. It's got Outlaw for the faster reloads on precision kills. Take a knee. Handlaid Stock, which is pretty much the best stability perk this thing can have at the small cost of some range. Lightweight and Counterbalance. It's definitely worth checking out. All right, and finally, I guess you can consider this a second honorable mention, the How Dare You Hand Cannon from the Vanguard Quartermaster. Sidewise, this thing does have the True Sight Iron Sights, which gives it a nice boost to its aim assist, which is already at a great base stat of about 92. And perk-wise, it's coming with Mulligan and Partial Refund, Rifle Barrel and High Caliber Rounds, and finally Range Finder, meaning you can hit some pretty decent range stats, at least for this archetype on this weapon, between Rifle Barrel and Range Finder. My biggest issue with this gun is that it's in a bad archetype. And of course, that's really no fault of its own. It's just the 32 rate of fire, 68 impact hand cannons don't really compare too well to the Ayas Luna Palindrome tier. And I say that despite the fact that I really enjoy playing with this archetype of hand cannon. The lower base range is really the thing that kills guns like this, but the How Dare You in particular has really amazing base aim assist of like 92 and maxes out at like 97 to 99. So, with the amount of range that this thing has on it, it could be a pretty fun way to play. But anyways, Guardians, that's pretty much going to be it for your vendor weapon roll recommendations for this week. That's such a tongue twister. Be sure to let me know what you Guardians picked up down in the comment sections below. And don't forget, Iron Banner Mayhem Clash is live today. So get out there, have some fun, and earn some great loot. But alright, that's it for this one. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.